Hey guys, it's Sensei Mew212345, and welcome to another game by Bethesda Game Studios. Oh boy, what could this possibly be? You guessed it. I am finally going to do if the musical cue for me. Hey, music. Music. I'm trying to make a dramatic entrance here. Alright, fine, music, then screw you. Anyway, as you can see, I'm sure many of you watching this video recognize this screen right now. That's right, I'm going to play The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. And I don't understand what the music is doing right now. There it goes. Of course, the music starts up after I make the dramatic reveal. Alright, we're going to load some add-ons, and I'm going to start a new game on The Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim, what? I know, Oblivion didn't go very well, and I didn't even finish Oblivion because it went so poorly, but... I'm going to do Skyrim, and I'm going to do things a lot differently than I did last time. Basically, I'm going to not skip nearly as much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete some files to make room for this new file. Alright, hang on a sec. I just want to get rid of all these extra files, because that's a lot of extra files. There we go. Now that I've made some room, let's get started. Oh boy. Stuff's about to go down. Ooh, that's a big scary dragon. We aren't going to have to fight him, are we? And the scrolls have foretold of back, black wing, back wings in the cold. Of course it has wings on its back. Don't tell me that I can make dragon bone weapons now. That's just, that's just cruel. My smithing is terrible right now because I just started. Smithing is one of the skills that you get in this game. Instead of having to find weapons in the world, you can make your own weapons if you wish. And, of course, it looks like our little friend, the loading screen, is going to take forever. I'll cut until he's bat. I'll cut until he's gone away. Dragon butt shot! What? Where am I? Who are you people? Where are we going? What is this? What's happening? Someone talk. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? I was. You walked right into that Imperial ambush. I did. Same as us. And that thief over there. I know I'm suffering from amnesia right now, so I'm sorry, Mr. Person, but I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. Stormcloaks? If they hadn't been looking for you, I could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these storm cloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him? Huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Oh, that's interesting. Ulfric, the Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they capture no, you, Luke Skywalker is the oh leader God. of the rebellion. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. Oh, well, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Oh, so we're being taken to the Executioner's hey, Block, are we? What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? That doesn't surprise I me at all. After all, every thoughts. single one of the Elder Scrolls games has started with the 
main character as a prisoner. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Oh, wonderful. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Tosh, the vines, please help me. Isn't there one more, sir? There is one more that you forgot to mention. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is hell. Under a V-Lod is still making them eat or juniper berries mixed in. Well, I don't know, you Funny. can find out when we meet when him in the next boy, life. Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. Or if you find out you have a secret hidden power that allows you to survive with your head cut off. Inside the house. Now. By the way, I guess I should have warned you earlier, viewer discretion advised, because this is probably going to be one of the more mature games on my channel, and it's going to start out, like, right now, very violent. <laughs> Why are we stopping? Move it. Why do you think? End of the line. Let's all go get our heads lopped off. What do you say, Let's guys? Go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. I can't really do much oh, anything because so my hands are bound. Face your death for some courage, speak. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Hello, or I mean goodbye, Jarl Rail Ulfric. I'll Grill. say hello to your head. You too. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Well, he got owned. Wait. You there. Step forward. Oh dear me, next. Who are you? Um, well, here comes the character creation screen. I guess I'll show you how it works. You can select your race. There's many different races to choose from. We can start from the top up here, the Argonian, if it switches. And it gives you a description of the race, you know, what they do. It gives you, it tells you what their power is. If it ever uh, changes here, it will show you what it looks like. But I'm getting a lot of lag at the moment for some reason. There we go. Of course it did that. Something is happening. Okay. But alas, this is character creation. You don't need to see this. I'm going to skip it. And I will go ahead and... I'm sure everyone already knows what each of these races are and what they do. Who's ever heard of the Elder Scrolls. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to my fully created character, if you don't mind. I will see you when I'm done with that. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I think I'm done. Do I not look awesome? I decided to go with a Dark Elf for this playthrough, so we'll see how that goes. I've never actually played a Dark Elf before, but I look pretty boss, so you have to give me that. And besides, I usually go with a mixture of archery and magic. Well, really, I go with all three, but I don't know. We'll see how I go with this game. Usually, I go different for different files. Let's go ahead and finish and name our character, and of course... You do not want to be called prisoner. We will be sensei. Why not? There we go. Another refugee. Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Morrowind. Yay! Follow the captain, prisoner. And by the way, what do you meant by refugee if you aren't learned in the Elder Scrolls lore? 
since the time of Oblivion, which was 200 years ago, the mountain of the central mountain of Varden fell and Morrowind erupted and destroyed most of the province. So oh, that's what he meant by cloak. refugee. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Ooh, what was that? What was that? I asked that first. Nothing. Carry on. No, that, yes, that sounded rather obvious. important. That Give sounded rather major, points. like extremely plot-related important. Commend your souls to Aetherius. Blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. Our... As you wish. This guy's Come in on. a hurry. I haven't got all morning. Well, I'm not in so much of a hurry. It would be a rather quick game if I My died right now. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Can you say the same? And you're dead. Yummy. For your discretion advised. <laughs> as fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the dark elf. Oh, so you're not there even gonna move his body. Did you hear that? And you're just gonna yeah. I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Yay! My turn to get my head cut off. Oh, hello. You are a nice sight. What in oblivion is that? That's an even better sight. Sentry, what do you see? Oh, hello. What did you do? Oh, oh dear, we need to get out of here. Because that thing... That thing has started a meteor storm. This way. Oh dear lord, that one almost hit me. Let's get the heck out of here. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Sometimes they do. We need to move now! Up through the tower. Let's go! Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm Just going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, holy crap! <gasps> ah! That was... That was close. Oh, good lord. Oh man, we're already seeing plenty of action. Let's get the heck out of here. Get over here. Hemi, you need to get over here now. Data boy, you're doing great. Oh dear. Coral. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. All right, I'll do take that. Take care then. of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you. Let's get the heck out of this place. Stay close to the wall! Did you maybe unbind my hands? Holy crap, Laura. That thing is big. Quickly, follow me! Can you maybe, you know, unbind my unbind my hands and give me a weapon? And holy crap. That dragon just kicked me down. Let's get the heck out of here. Run! Alright, we're going this way. Alright, just trying not to get hit by meteors or flame breath right now. you damn traitor! Out of my way! We're escaping, Hadvar. You're not stopping us this time. Fine! I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard! Oh, jeez. With me, prisoner! Let's go! Quick! I can cut you loose inside the keep! 
Well, let's. I can't open doors when my hands are bound, you silly fool. Ah. Do you people know nothing? At least we are now inside and semi safe from meteors and uh, instant incineration and getting knocked over. I thought I died. For Looks a like we're there. the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? The bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. About time. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh, see if one of these chests has them all over you. Alright, well, whatever. I'm going to, uh... Just take what I can get here. Let's see. Got ourselves an iron sword. You can press Y to add that to your favorites list. And then what you can do is you can press up on the D-pad and you have a selection of all the things that you favorited. Let's see. I bet I have some magic on me as well. Flames, sparks, we have healing, good. Definitely favorite that one. Um, favorite my power. Um, let's see. You can go ahead and favorite the spells. That's everything on the magic side. And let's go ahead and get this armor on. You don't want to go around unprotected. Let's keep moving. Take another sword, because why not? Is there a two-handed weapon? I really want a two-handed weapon in here. I don't think there's a two-handed weapon in here, but we can get one later. So, let's go ahead and equip these guys. As you can see, you can dual-wield swords in this game. You can also dual-wield magic. You can wield a sword in a ma and a magic spell, Come on. like so, and all sorts of different configurations, so have fun with that stuff. Why don't I go ahead and equip my power? We need to get moving. That dragon is tearing up the whole peak. Just give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Alright, well, let's go try that, I guess. Hold on now. We only what want that? to. Nope, never mind. Ah, I burned you down. Yes, I know my stamina is low. Rawr. Spilled your guts all over the ground. Alright, well, you have fun with that. I'm gonna look around for some more stuff. Let's see. Iron Warhammer. That's a two handed weapon. I would like a great sword, but. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I'll leave these weapons behind because a great sword on its own is going to weigh a lot. I don't need two swords. This is the reason why I go with two handed weapons, is because carrying around two one handed weapons does. Around the same damage, really, and weighs more, actually, because uh, there's two of them, obviously, and they both have weight. Besides, I only need one to cut you in half. Let's see. Because I'm either going to be using just the sword, using just magic, or using just arrows, so I'm fine with using two-handed weapons. Plus, I have blocking which is something you don't have with dual wielding. Holy crap. Things are falling. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen, now! Imperial dogs! Imperial dogs! <laughs> so you're gonna be that way, are you? What difficulty is this set on, by the way? I feel like it might be set too low. I know One moment while I check. Settings, gameplay, apprentice. Well, we can leave it that way, or we'll try it on adapt. We'll see how well I do. If I die every two seconds, I'll change it back to apprentice. But let's see, lots of good things. Owl music. I killed them already. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pick up whatever could be of use in here. Up, up, ba -dum bum another potion. 
salt pile, and I'll show you how alchemy works. Because now you see we have potions. Potions are what you make with alchemy. You can drink them and, you know, get their benefits. And you also have your own potion creation, which in this game works where you take your ingredient and then you eat it like so. Then you learn the first... <laughs> you learn the first thing to that ingredient, which happened to be a uh, weakness to magic for the salt. And you can only create potions on certain work tables called alchemy labs. I'll show, I'll, t I'll tell I'm you when we see one. Way. And I'm still being affected by that, but luckily the enemies around here don't Torch use that. Oh, hello. Silly people's getting owned. You always seemed a bit upset at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helia. Let's see. A dragon. Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Hmm. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. I'm looking for things right now, so lock picks. You. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. All right. Well, then let's get it open. Here's how lock picking works. You have your lock pick. You can move it around with the left stick and turn with the right stick. And you need to find the sweet spot on the lock that opens Don't bother it. With that. Lost the key ages ago. Let's see. Um, take all my things. I already know sparks, so. Um, let's see. I'll take these, if only to disenchant them later. Grab what you can and let's go. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Is there a bow? I want a bow. No bow. Okay. We don't care. There's a dragon on the top floor, in case you didn't notice. Let's see. We got... You have nothing. You have bone meal and gold. You're going to want as much gold as you can get early on, because it's, you start out very poor, as always. Well, guys, let's go. I'll run ahead. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Hey, you! you Die! Okay. Now, power! Unlimited power! All right. You've got nothing to die. You know, guys, it would help if you kind of, you know, moved out of the way. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to take a shield. Gauntlets. Pretty sure I don't have gauntlets yet, so. We will go ahead and uh, drop this. We don't need these. Put this. So now the only piece of armor we're missing is a helmet. Alright, let's go and uh, kill some more people, though. I can equip my power and use my power. Except that may not be a good idea in this oil. Oh, you come here. Can't I use my power? Use Ancestor's Wrath. There we go. Bam! All right. Let's see if we can find a way out. So this is what Ancestor's Wrath does, huh? I guess it just uh, makes all my attacks do fire damage. 
word or whatever. I suppose it'll tell us if we go over to the active uh, powers. Ancestor's Wrath. For 62 seconds, opponents that get too close take 8 per points per second of fire damage. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see, your magic is recharged, so we can equip magic again. Alright. More tutorial section. I guess we're lucky that didn't come down on top of us. But it just came down on top of that other guy, didn't it? Oh well. We shall move on, I suppose. I suppose I could have saved my power, too, because you can only use your power once a day. But I kind of wanted to see what it does, so... Oh well. Sneakity, sneakity, sneakity. Bird. Spiders. Huge spiders. They aren't that bad. Let's see. Yeah, these guys suck. And they're all dead. Yay. Giant snake. Giant snake. Oh, a dragon's a giant lizard. Isn't that close enough? What's over here? Do I get a bow yet? I, oh wait, one of those guys back there probably. Yeah, there was a guy I was fighting back there who had a bow. Dang it, I didn't pick it up. Oh well, I think he's about to give me a bow. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See him? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow, and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Alright then. I will use the bow then, for sure. Let's go ahead. Or if you're feeling go lucky, ahead. you can... Yeah, it woke up, so we're not sneaking by it. So we may as well just do this. I'll use one of the frostbite venoms I picked up from the spiders. Poison my arrow. Watch your back. Might take it by surprise. And eat this. Adjust my aim a little bit. Not the sneaking type, huh? No, I am. I just like killing things as I sneak. There we go. You're dead up your claws and eat them for some reason. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Alright, finally got myself a bow. I love archery now. <laughs> Let's see. We'll go ahead and try to use... This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd have to leave. Way out! Yay! And he looks not too happy. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just going to uh, cut for all the loading screens, guys. How's that sound? There's no need for you to wait as long as I have to wait. Uh, hang on a sec. I got my uh, headset caught in the thing. Oh look, there he goes, he's flying away, yay, go away. Never come back. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. That sounds like a plan to me. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. No, I think I'm going to follow you anyway, because he's going to show us something important. And we'll also have discussions about things relating to Skyrim politics. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. Hmm. 
sounds interesting. If the rebels had themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. So they think that the rebels have the dragon. That's interesting. Where'd you go? You run slow. At least you don't start off <laughs> like in Morrowind where you're see that ruin up there. Going at turtle pace. Leak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Those sound like fun dreams. Draugr, by the way, we'll get very familiar with Draugr. They're basically zombies. <laughs> Alright, here comes the important thing that I wanted to follow him to. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Alright, so here we have three different choices for our Guardian Stone here. We have obviously the Thief Stone, which will make all of your uh, stealth type skills, like arrows, sneaking, pickpocket, things like that, increase in level faster. Like 20% faster, I think it is. This one, the Mage Stone, is the same thing except for all of your magic abilities. And the Warrior Stone is the same except for all of your uh, weapons combat and smithing type deal. So, for now, I think I'm going to go with the Warrior Stone, because probably what you want, the skill you want to max out first is your smithing, and I will go ahead and show you how to do that very soon. And we're going to want to accept the Warrior, because that will make it rise 20% faster, which is always a huge help. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Plus, Hadvar likes it when we when we pick the warrior one. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go see what's going on in the neighborhood of Riverwood. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? That sounds good. Could you please run faster? At least I'm picking up all kinds of nice alchemy ingredients to use later while following him. That's what I'm doing when I run over and grab a random flower like that. Oh, hello, wolf. Unlimited power! Silly wolves. I have lightning and you have what? I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. And you told you want to leave me behind. I'm gonna parkour up here, don't mind me. Because parkour is fun. Come on, keep up, Hadvar. Let's go. Final stretch, you can do it. See how fast I can run. You're the turtle now. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my own. Yay, Hadvar's house. Hadvar, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, boats? What happened to you, boy? Are you in some Uncle, kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Whoa, those weapons vanished. Alright, you guys are really slow, and I want to end the tutorial section, so let's go. We're going to go into this person's house now and discuss politics. Yay! 
<sighs> Sigrid, we have company. Raw boss, Stark Elf. Havar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? No, I saw it too. Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Well, that's good news. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. This sounds urgent. Well, I will go ahead and... Uh... Ooh, you're gonna let me have a garnet? Sure, why not? Um, iron ingot, healing potions, a ring that I can disenchant later. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Sounds good. Let's see. I already took all his supplies. Let's see. Why don't we uh, ask him about all the topics here, except for this one, because we just took his supplies, and get familiar with some Skyrim politics, shall we? How do I get from Whiterun? How do I get to Whiterun from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. By the way, in case you're wondering, the Jarl is basically like the Count of the Land, except Skyrim style. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Anyway, one, one second. What time are we at? 47 minutes. So I might have to split this up into two episodes, but we'll see. Which side of the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. You support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig, when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Wonderful. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Yay. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters. 
a few generations ago. She and Hoth run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. That sounds rather quaint and boring. What do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people. Just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. So why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Well, that sounds all Good fine day. and dandy. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Huge. Hush, well, child. Don't pester your cousin. Huge. Make yourselves at home. I'll go ahead and take your gold, because I need as much of it as I can get. And we are obviously really late into this episode. I may even have to divide it into two. But we have finally made it can out of the tutorial nice section. In a really spot. Okay, let's leave this house because everyone's trying to talk to me at once. But alas, we are now very late into this episode. I don't know whether or not I'm going to split it into two episodes. I guess you'll have already found out. But we'll see what I do. Because after all, this was a tutorial section and we just got thrown into this huge, vast world. I'll give you the world map, just so you can see. Um, from here to here was the distance between those guardian stones. Remember those to where we are now. And the whole world is like gigantic. So this is a massive world map. So this is a huge world that we just got thrown into here. And now we at least know where we need to go next. We need to go to Whiterun and talk to the Jarl, but that will be for the next episode. This has been Sensei Mew 212345, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>